Notre Dame Stadium, the place to be for this college football battle. Tonight we'll see how this freezing weather affects the Hawaii Warriors and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. And here comes the Fighting Irish. Hi everybody, this is Brad Nessler. With me as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. The Fighting Irish are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kurt. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think you're exactly right about this. Notre Dame has a game-breaking player on defense, and he only gets better with every game. Tackles can't block him, and quarterback's fearing. That alone will be a big factor in why I think they will win this game today, Coach. Let me tell you why I agree with you. Notre Dame loves to run the football, and that's how they win ball games. I think they're going to have a big game on the ground today, and, Kirk, I agree with you. I think they win this one. No problem. We're hoping for a great game. Guys, let's get down on the field. The team captains are ready for the coin toss. Notre Dame is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And it's a short kickoff. Number two fields it at the 19. He spins around at the 40, across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Warriors. He showed great speed there on the touchdown return. The defense looking to make this crowd a factor. And he tacks on the extra point. Under a minute now in the first quarter. And the score, Hawaii 7, Notre Dame nothing. Hawaii to kick this one off. It's a high short kick. Number 12 calls for the fair catch. There's an interesting tactic, a fair catch on the kickoff. Interesting. More like baffling. I'm dumbfounded. Maybe they know something I don't know. Three and three and three and four. Cut. Inside you. And he stopped behind the line. How about that defensive stop? That's a great effort by the defensive line there. Anytime you can get into the backfield and disrupt the timing of a run like this, you're going to come up with a big stop. Notre Dame lines up with three receivers. Pressure coming. Let's it fly. And it's caught. He can scoot. Brought down. That's a 10-yard gain. It's third down and a yard for the first down. Ball on their own 45. Hand off up the middle. He jukes him. They'll bring him down. He's not just a big lumbering guy out there. Yeah, he is. He's a big lumbering guy with some speed. Good looking run for the first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, our score, Hawaii, seven, Notre Dame, nothing. The Irish go with the I formation. They'll throw on first down. He's in trouble, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Notre Dame calls a timeout. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 49. From the gun. Back to pass. Looking. Steps up. Under heavy pressure. Batted ball. Kirk, he threw that one right into coverage. Yeah, Brad, that is a cardinal rule. You never throw into tight coverage like that. There are a lot of guys out there that have so much confidence in their arms, they think they can squeeze the ball into a tight little space the size of a donut hole. Number 10 is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. Complete. He's on the run. To the 20. To the 10. 
Touchdown, Notre Dame. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy slinging the ball all over the field out there. And he hits the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Notre Dame ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number two fields it to 19. They'll set up shot at the 28. The defense now really trying to get the crowd into it. Setting up the play action. Looks. He's looking for his man. Got it. Down the sideline. He's all the way down to the 37. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. They come out in a nickel. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. Finds his receiver. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Almost intercepted. A lost opportunity there. When you have a chance to make an interception in the end zone, you got to make the play. He could have ended that scoring drive right there, but no. He'd rather give him another shot. The Warriors come out in a shotgun. It's tipped. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep, total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destination better. Third down and 10 coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. This place is starting to get fired up. He drops back. Looking. Throws it to the outside. Touchdown, Hawaii! And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Short kickoff. Number five fields at the 17. They'll get the ball here at the 31. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. They'll throw on first down. Aaron and out long. He got it. And he's tackled. First half of play, our halftime score. Hawaii will be kicking off to start the second half. And it's a short kickoff. Number five takes it at the 16. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 29-yard line. Notre Dame sets up with four receivers. That snap from Schroeder. 
And they hit him in the backfield. That was a fantastic play by this defense. <laughs> You're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. Second and 11. Ball on the 28-yard line. High formation here. Counter play. They'll drop him for a loss. Nice play by the big D lineman. It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. Drops back to pass. He's going right. That is ball. That close to being intercepted. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. They send out the punting unit. Didn't get all of that one. Number two, fields it at the 40. And now we'll see the offense coming out out of the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 38. Number six, alone in the backfield. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. Notre Dame takes a timeout. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Number six, the lone back. Here's the give. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Notre Dame calls a timeout. Third down and 12. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Fighting Irish bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. Looks. Throws it to the outside. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was, and it was a catchable ball. Pulled right at him. He just didn't catch it. We're down to just a minute in this game. Trying to get that home field advantage, and the defense is doing their best to fire up this crowd. Going deep, plays it out there. You know, Coach, sometimes you can get too aggressive with the play calling. Kirk, I agree with you 100%, my friend. They should have punted the football, and now they just set these guys up with great field position. They'll take over at the 40-yard line. They line up in an eye. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. Finds his receiver. And yeah, we got an injured player on the field. It's first and ten. Ball in the 42. The Irish line up with three wide. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. Got him. And they bring him down. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. They'll throw on first down. It's tipped. It's a tip drill. Way to look it in. Looks like offside. Here's the official call. Offside. On the defense. Five yard penalty. Still first down. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. It's deflected, and it's incomplete. That one fell incomplete, and what is the offense trying to do, guys? Bore me to death. Well, sometimes you can really catch the defense by surprise when you keep running the same play. Number four is the deep back as they line up in the eyes. Back to pass. Looks to the end zone. The defender had no shot at breaking up that touchdown pass to the wideout. He was caught a little out of position. Yes, indeed. And he hits the PAT. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul.
Number two is back ready to receive. And boy, has he been the game breaker on special teams today. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number two takes it at the 20. With the spin. Bubbles the ball. Scoops up the loose ball. The 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that can happen. And now you've got to recoup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs. And he tacks on the extra point. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Notre Dame 21, Hawaii 14. Number 19, ready to kick. Here's the kick. Number 67 takes it at the 23. He's hit and got away. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. They'll set up shot at the 38. Hawaii in a five wide set. They'll throw on first down. He's looking over the middle. Found his man. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. Hawaii takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. For all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. Taking a gamble here. This is for the lead. He drops back. Looking. He's going right. He's got it. They've got the two and the lead. 